Welcome, in front of me is a Realme X50 and today I'll show you how to record your screen. And to get started you need to do, pull down the notification panel and in here we'll find the screen recording toggle. Now before you actually tap on it you do want to hold it and this will take us to the settings where we can customize all the settings of it. So number one we have the sounds, we can record uh, system sounds and once you check on system sound it looks like and here we can also check on the microphone which is a super nice touch uh, usually it's one or the other um, but and here we can actually record both so if you're wondering what that means is if I'm like I am doing right now if I'll be playing some games uh, the phone will be recording the game sounds along with what I'm saying right now um, now this might cause a little bit of a problem so keep that in mind because it will probably also hear itself uh, in terms of how to record the system sound as in the game but then the game is also going through speakers so it will the microphone will be picking up the game along with your voice uh, if you're using headphones then this problem will not be uh, relevant then we have display so we have video resolution now in here by default I believe it's set to a 720 uh, for megabits per second. Now, personally, I advise you to change it to 1080p at least and make it as far as you want in terms of uh, megabits uh, bitrate. Uh, now, the higher you go, uh, the clearer the image will look uh, because all well, the resolution affects just the size of it, how big the resolution is. Uh, but still, if you go with like one megabit per second, the video will look quite trash. Um, so make sure uh, we go as high as uh, you can afford in terms of space. As you can see, uh, approximately it gives us a approximation of five minute video will be 600 megabytes. Now I believe this is way too low. I think it's going to be uh, closer to like one gigabyte uh, than 600. But we will see in terms of uh, recording, for instance, for one minute. Um, so as you can see, the lower you go, the less space it will be taking, apparently. Uh, which also one thing that isn't really well, uh, calculated here is the video res resolution. It looks like 1080p has the same um, storage taken uh, as 720, which is just so it should be one fourth of the size, um, about. So, like I said, it's not necessarily the the best calculation here. So don't uh, don't take that in consideration. Now whatever you said here is completely up to you. I advise you to go with the highest you can afford in terms of space. And from there we can back out. And have a couple additional things like uh, the display orientation. Now I would stick with the follow system. So depending how you hold the phone, it will recognize if it's in landscape or portrait and record in that mode. Uh, similarly to how. Uh, how the phone works whenever you're taking a photo on your device and if you hold it in portrait it will capture the photo in portrait while you flip it to landscape it will do the landscape an additional setting is the front camera so this will basically um, add a camera feed uh, onto the display so it's also being recorded and then uh, record screen taps so it will also show where I'm tapping or touching the screen with a little gray dot, uh, which will well, insinuate where my finger was touching. Now this is, uh, if you're planning to record footage of like games and stuff like that, I would disable this, it will be a little bit too distracting, um, while if you're uh, trying to make some kind of guide on how to turn something on and where you're tapping on the phone, um, then I would enable this. Now, once you have set all that up, you can leave this and then go back and simply tap on the recording now because it does on we did set that it's recording sound systems and uh, and my voice for instance and also the camera it needs access to all that so it can use it so as you can see there's the camera uh, the fo folders for well, saving it in there microphone for my voice uh, and all that so let's agree and let's tap to start recording Actually, this is just a little guide it looks like so it gives us the uh, most of the settings and then close to exit now once we actually go through this we can tap to start recording there we go and you can see there I am and I can also move this around if I wanted to uh, now as we did disable the option to show our finger 
and where it's tapping it won't really record it what it does record right now is my voice and also if i would be playing something on the phone uh, some kind of sounds or whatever it would also record those which unfortunately i'm not right now so those will not be part of it um but let's make it to half a minute there we go so let's stop right now not half a minute um and from here we can actually look how much space that takes so let's go to albums and that's where it's going to be saved and it looks like it's right over here yep there it is now i did also mute it i believe or not oh no there it is i can already hear myself so i'm going to mute this now let's go to details and this footage took actually not that much, it's 60 uh, megabytes, so it would take for one minute 120 about. I uh, know the size may vary a bit, so keep in mind that something like 10, 20 megabytes per minute might be different, uh, but it looks like 120 is the around one minute, so it would come out to be uh, 600 megabytes uh, per five minutes, which did actually come out to be really accurate. Uh, I'm not sure how that is considering the resolution is different um, Doesn't really make sense unless they're doing some super sampling or stuff like that um, So yeah, but as you can see that's kind of how it looks like whatever I was doing on the phone uh, was being recorded So yeah, I uh, know let's leave this and yeah so that is how you would record your screen on this device and if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching